Welcome back to another video guys, Mike here and today I'll be doing a Phantom Forces one and this is more of a discussion. Today's topic will be about Phantom Forces of how personally I think Phantom Forces fell off and why it did and how it happened, all that stuff. That being said, be sure you guys drop a like on the video. Let me know in the comments, do you personally think Phantom Forces fell off and what I mean by fell off, I mean like all the OGs leaving and I'm not saying Phantom Forces is bad, by all means don't get it twisted, Phantom Forces is such a great game. The new players are joining up, getting it like that 9k player amount. I would say that's pretty much the average of that. Um, so yeah, by no means I'm calling the game bad. I'm just saying I think it fell off, and I think that's where they lost most of their veterans and all that jazz. This girl link's going to be in the description down below. You guys check that out. Join it if you want to have some more discussions about this. That being said, let's get started. Personally, I do think 9k is from the new players playing and some old veterans that do still play the game. But I'm talking people like their main... Their main people like Synthesize, OG, Paradox Pokey, Petrify TV, Agent John, who else? Jeremy. Like these guys were all like back in the day these guys were the YouTubers of Phantom Forces. I'm not sure of the new YouTubers right now, but those were the epic guys back in the day. And um I, I know there's probably more, I'm probably forgetting their name, but those were the ones I actually watched myself, especially Synthesize OG. I used to watch his late night streams and that was around the time Crane Revamp was still a thing. But sadly, times changed, and now the problem with them, all of them right now, is they all want to leave the game. Like, I'm telling you right now, they all tried moving from the game, but their fans just weren't with it. Like, you look at Petrify TV, yes, he still does Phantom Forces, but he did try to move games, and his fans just didn't support him. And I feel bad for him, but I could understand why. When you drill your fan base into one game, and they subscribe for that one reason, it's hard for them to move to another game. And that's where I think the problem is. The same with Synthesize OG. He tried moving games like Struced. Um, I think he tried Island Royale. And I didn't really watch those. And pretty much I want to say his Phantom Forces days were amazing. And before he got burnt out, you could tell he was having so much fun. But they all tried doing a video saying that they want to move away from Phantom Forces, try out new games. But their fan base just wasn't for it. Because clearly you could tell when a YouTuber feels burnt out on that one game. And you got to respect it. You got to let them like... It's hard, yeah, I know it's hard to support a YouTuber that, like, plays a game that you don't even play, but, like, that's their perspective right now. Like, they felt so burnt out on it, but, like, the fan base was there for the Phantom Forces content, and, like, even with Synthesize switching games, everyone always said, like, Phantom, go back to, oh, not Phantom, Synthesize, go back to Phantom, all that stuff. Paradox Pokey, he does still do Phantom Forces, too, but, like, those montages that he's releasing... Like, it's not even his. Like, he doesn't... You could tell. You could literally tell by his recent uploads what he's uploading and all. He's not doing, like, his daily uploads like he used to. He doesn't really do much, like, content anymore. And you could tell he's, like, forcing himself to upload Phantom Forces. He did do a Phantom Forces video of, like, trying to quit and all. But it's just... It's hard for them because I understand, but... And before you comment, Mike, what are you talking about? Paradox Pokey has no... Like, that's not his montages. I'm talking about that's his, like, his team montages. You could... Like, I was watching one of his montages, and I just realized it was actually his, te like, his teammates recording that and uploading and editing all that jazz. It's not his actual clips. I think he did do some clips, but, like, th th they don't even upload the game anymore as much as they want to because they know it's, it's just boring to them, and they feel burnt out. When you do a game for so long, you will get burnt out on it, and that's a fact. And they got burnt out on Phantom Forces, but it did, it was, well, it was pretty good while it lasted. You know, I had a lot of fun watching them. I had a lot of fun watching Sin and his streams, but... Personally, Phantom Forces fell apart when they actually started revamping maps, like Crane Sight, Highway Lot. When they removed, like for example, Crane Revamp, or Crane, I think it was called Crane Revamp. The one with two cranes, I don't know if you guys remember that. If you do, you're probably some OGs that did play the game back in the day. When Crane Revamp was still a thing, and that's when I think the game fell off. Also, when they released Warehouse, I know there was a lot of backlash in Warehouse, but I think Warehouse is good comparing to the maps that they, they are releasing right now, because... Those are just garbage ones, in my opinion. Like, I don't see them how... I don't see how those are good ones. I don't know, maybe because I don't really play the game much. Personally, I quit the game for three years, ever since they removed uh, Korean Revamp. That was the time I started quitting. So, it's been a long time since I did actually play the game consistently. Everything back then was just so much fun and just and more enjoyable, if you could say. Like, I'd say... I'd say the year was, like, 2016. I could be wrong. 2016, maybe 2017. I'm not sure on the specific years, but like, just back then when Phantom Forces went its prime, it was so great, it was top page, no other, Adopt Me wasn't even there, I don't even think Adopt Me was there in the top page, there were so many games that just weren't there at the top page, and Phantom Forces was the top game for so long, and sadly it just fell apart, and it's not, 
it can't re it's not competing with them and that sucks because I don't know like back in the day a thousand members on a or a thousand people playing a game when it used to be top page now it's like one million five hundred k like it's crazy how much Phantom Forces or not Phantom Forces Roblox grew and it sucks to see some games that you enjoy so much just not like not compete anymore because it's just either not updated or it just fell apart like Phantom Force is personally what I think happened and I think the f I think the updates are just what killed off its own game like I think they were updating it like I see now a lot of people are complaining about the attachments like there's so many useless attachments that they're adding the maps aren't really good at all um, I think some new game modes would have actually like I know they added like capture the flag kill confirmed if they added some more things like that just more enjoyable like game modes I think the ga they could have kept the game going but it did last long for what it's worth like three years or three or four years it's been up there but that's pretty much it with that sucks to see the youtubers go too and I think we could all agree we all at least watched one of them and that was such a big whiff with my spray I just seen that this is also old footage if you couldn't realize that um very old one and um, this is when I actually used to play Phantom Forces I usually use old footage because I don't really play the new one at all and Honestly, what the hell happened is like when did everyone get so good in the new one, bro? Like literally I joined that for like one second and I got like t Like 20 dudes just rushing me and they all like all jumping around like dolphins and stuff and, like dude like I'm never like damn you guys like The community just got a lot more better in my opinion I don't know if it's filled with sweats now like Arsenal or if it's just like everyone's just good now It's not really sweaty. It's just like Everyone advanced in their skills if that makes sense like they improved their skills, but I could be wrong Let me know how are matches for you if you guys join Phantom Forces? Is it filled with sweats or is just everyone all good at the same time? Like, I don't even know. And if you guys do watch some Phantom Forces YouTubers that are maybe up and coming, please let me know about them in the comment section down below. It just, honestly, I feel like we all miss the old times too, of like the old days of Roblox. I feel like Roblox just isn't the same anymore with all these games just taking over. It isn't as much fun and it's pretty hard to find some good games to stick to because I know a lot of us, I don't know if it's us getting older or if it's just the games actually just becoming more garbage. Like, I honestly think it's us becoming older and we're just like moving on to other like more games like GTA or like, I don't know, Rainbow, you think of it. Not Fortnite. If you say Fortnite, I would say I would say Fortnite actually was good back in the day. I played it up until season three, then quit, and then it just became what it is now. You know, we just all I think we all just switched games. I feel like we just became older, and we all started like playing some more games that just don't look all blocky and all. But there are some games like Black Ops Rescue Mission, for example. You guys may know me for that. If you do watch my uh, Black Ops game play, um, this game is literally the best looking game on 10 graphics. I kid you not. Can't wait for my new setup to come in, boys. We're gonna... Dude, I think it's the best looking game on Roblox. It doesn't even look like Roblox, to be fair. That's what I like to see Roblox become, like, a game where it's not, like... We're not known for being so blocky and so cringy and all. Like, like that's pretty much it. Closing statements on this is, I think the game died just when they started revamping things that didn't need to be revamped. Like, I, I love the old highway lot and the old crane site. You look at it now, it's just like, why did they even do that? And personally, that's where I think the game fell off and them just adding in some useless maps. Yeah, you could say that people wanted new maps and they brought it to them, but personally, I was just not a fan of it. Um, all the YouTubers just forcing themselves to try to make Phantom Forces content, and it sucks because you could see it in them, but like, oh, well, you can't really, I mean, you're, you're eventually gonna get burnt out. It's like, it's like a matter of time of when that happens. Anyways, this Discord link's gonna be in the description down below. Let's have a discussion about it in the general and also in the comment section down below. Drop a like if you did enjoy the video. That being said, turn on post notifications. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. I'll be running some gameplay in the background. You know, see how this one turns out.